it's striking to me that even though uh, in the Kiyosu Bridge by Hasui, there seems to be a self-conscious evocation of Tokyo or even perhaps Edo, certainly before the great Kanto earthquake, uh, you don't really see that hearkening back in uh, the Koizumi Kishio's image. And actually, at least at a glance, there isn't seemingly anything discernibly Japanese, per se, in the Koizumi image of the bridges. Am I reading it correctly? I think that's a good observation, and I, I would agree with you. It's, um, th there is a, a Western flavor. Uh, I don't know what makes me think of uh, northern Germany when I, when I see this image, but mm. there, there is that kind of a, kind of a feeling of, of a harsh, stark modernism. Uh, it, it struck me looking at this Koizumi image that it was something that Hiroshige or Hokusai would have been embarrassed by. Uh, the level of, or non-level of craftsmanship, uh, whereas the Hasui would have appealed uh, very greatly to these old masters. So you're in a whole new game here. And immediacy is the, is the key. You feel a personality here. He mentions two bridges in the title. Mm -hmm. So location's really important to him, and this is his first print in the series, right? Right. Is so there a reason why he would have started here, or what, what's your thought? The reason for starting with bridges? I suppose bridges are so important in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. People unfamiliar with the geography of the city, which is a little bit difficult to discern now, is that the city was built uh, on an estuary uh, with lots of streams and rivers moving through it. And bridges were key to social communication. So not only uh, in this series, but in many uh, series of Japanese prints, you see the bridge. The newness of these bridges, mm -hmm. uh, their representation as thoroughly modern. Uh, these are not flimsy wood bridges that may or may not be swept away in a typhoon. These are steel, they're here. And this Japan is, this, this Tokyo is part of a new world.